Welcome into the First Alert News Center. I'm Hannah Burbank and here are today's top stories. Starting with story number five. The Richland County Coroner released the name of the 71 year old Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center detainee who died on Sunday. The detainee identified as Roderick Samuels from Columbia. According to officials, Samuels was declared dead Sunday morning after being taken by EMS to Prisma Health Hospital. No official cause of death has been released. Sheriff Leon Lott said the death, quote, involves opioids. Moving on to our fourth top story. The body of a Sumter man was found in the woods near the Clarendon Sumter County line. 31 year old Howard Alexander Hodge was found dead in the woods across Highway 15 South between Loman Road and Timmerman Street, according to a news relief from the Sumter County Sheriff's Office. A sheriff says at this time it does not appear that Hodge died from trauma or foul play. Moving on to our third top story, cloud cover and thunderstorms keeps us cooler today before dangerous heat returns to the Midlands later this week. First of all, weather days are expected to return in the latter half of the week as the heat and humidity returns. WIS will be the first to alert you if a heat advisory is issued. Heat index is going to be near 110 degrees. But we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with the rest of our top stories after this. When I think about the big stories in South Carolina, my mind always comes here to our South Carolina State House because of real stories that affect real people in our community. I think back on the huge teacher rally, thousands of teachers from across our state coming here to the South Carolina State House to rally with SC for Ed. In my mind, this is the heartbeat of democracy, of advocacy, of equity, of justice, and what makes our community such a special place. WIS 10, connection happens here. And Christmas sounds Welcome like back the to old today's top stories. We pick back up with story number two. Three Grand Strand women paid thousands of dollars for a dream vacation through the same travel agent only to never go on the trip. One of the women said a social media post from another woman said a social that social media post tipped her off that something was wrong. The two women connected and shared their experiences, realizing they were not alone and they did not have booked trips. You can find the full details of this story up on our website at WISTV.com. Moving on to our top story of the day, a Sunday night shooting in Richland County injured two people, according to the Richland County Sheriff's Department. Deputies responded to the Walmart around 9 p.m. When they arrived, they saw a car in the parking lot with multiple bullet holes on the driver's side. They also found a Glock and green plant-like substance both in the car and on the ground by it. 24-year-old Matthew Herms on your screen right now, who had been shot in the forearm, was arrested and charged with manufacturing possession of substances and the intent to distribute in the first degree. The shooter has not been arrested. The investigation is ongoing. You can find all of these stories and more up on our website at WISTV.com.